In this video, I'm going to chat about tolerances and where they come from. So the first thing, a tolerance is the maximum uh, dimension is allowed to vary. So if you have plus or minus uh, 20 thousandths, the tolerance is 40 thousandths. Or plus or minus two millimeters, the tolerance is four millimeters. Now, we have to have tolerances because we can't make anything perfect. Nothing can be exactly one inch. If we get precision measuring instruments, we can always find a variation in the dimension of parts. Another thing tolerances do is allow us to make things fit. So a concept I want to chat about is interchangeable parts. So parts are interchangeable when they will fit 100% of the time at worst case conditions. So what's the worst case condition? Well, it depends. If the goal or the design intent is for parts to always have some clearance, then the worst case would be an external feature like a pin being larger than an internal feature like a hole. The pin wouldn't fit in the hole. That would not be uh, good. That would be the worst case for that situation. And it's the opposite for if an interference fit. If you need two parts to stay together and there's a case where the larger uh, hole could be larger than the pin, that would be the worst case. So let me show you on the board real quick kind of what I mean. So the question we ask is will these two parts fit at worst case conditions. We got a pin, one inch, plus or minus 20 thousandths, and a hole, one inch, plus or minus 20 thousandths. Now, the answer is that they will fit sometimes, but not all the time. The reason is that at worst case, so the worst case, if we wanted these two parts to have some clearance, some wiggle, the worst case is that the pin comes in at 1.02, the hole comes in at 0.98, you would have 40 thousandths of interference in those two parts, right? So this is the MMC of the pin compared to the MMC of the hole, also known as our allowance, okay? So to make this pin fit this hole in all conditions, we have to change one of them. So we can make the pin smaller or the hole bigger. In this case, I'll make the hole bigger. So if we make the hole 1.06 plus or minus 20, the smallest hole is now 1.04, and the largest pin is 1.02, we'd always have 20 thousandths of allowance. That's worst case tolerancing, and it's how most things are designed. Now, there is statistical uh, tolerancing where you say, essentially what statistical tolerancing does, it says, hey, what are the chances that this comes in big and this comes in small. What kind of machining parameters do we have? If we know our shop typically makes parts good, then that'll be okay, or the place we're gonna send it to so it makes parts that are within tolerance or close to their size, right? But worst case tolerances, tolerancing always works. So next up, I wanna talk about the difference between an allowance and a clearance. So allowance is comparing the MMC to the MMC. Uh, clearance is comparing the LMC to the LMC. So what do I mean? So again, the allowance is the difference between the MMC in the, of the hole and the MMC of the pin. So that's the minimum room there is for movement. The clearance is the LMC of the hole. So the biggest the hole can be and the MMC or the LMC of the pin, the smallest the pin can be, this is gonna result in the maximum play there can be. So we could say in this assembly, there's always gonna be 20 thousandths and there can be up to 80 thousandths. So tolerancing is just fiddling with these numbers to get what you want. So there's gonna be a requirement that comes down from engineering. They'll say, hey, you know, this thing needs to always have this amount of allowance. So say 20 thousandths, but we can deal with up to 80 thousandths of 
clearance, okay? So you can use this, you can punch this into Excel to figure this stuff out. It works the same for any external and internal feature. So it doesn't have to be a pen and a hole, it could be a tab and a slot or anything else. So that's it for this video. I'll try to make some more of these talking about tolerancing and where tolerances come from. If you like the video, please like and subscribe and check out the channel for more of this content coming soon.